Hey, what's up, guys? I just got done uh, putting new headlight in the car. A few things have gone on since my last video. Um, well, I don't remember if I told you guys what I did uh, with the ignition, but I uh, new distributor uh, cap, rotor button points, uh, condenser, all that good stuff. Um, carburetor still holding up. Uh, we just had a little problem with the ignition is all. Um, <clears throat> my battery, probably about two weeks ago, literally exploded when I was driving the car. I got a new voltage regulator. I had overcharged the battery and it just freaking blew out the top. It was a, it sounded like a shotgun. I had no clue what happened, but, um, until I popped the hood, obviously, but got a new voltage regulator. I've been driving it pretty steadily. Uh, I put, uh, so far I've put a little over a thousand miles on it since I got it. So, uh, it's still holding up good. I've got, uh, a new little project here. Uh, this was my bike when I was younger. I got it at a swap meet in Indianapolis. Uh, it's a, I, I don't know, late 60s, early 70s. Um, it was a muscle bike. I'm assuming is, that's what they call them, but it had uh, originally had red line tires on it. Uh, it had a slick in the back and you know a little little tire in the front. I still have the red line tires for them or for it. Still held air, but I got the uh, the white walls here for it and. Um, this front end is is different. Um, you can see all the all the rust and corrosion. The front end, the handlebars, um, and the grips, and uh, see the sissy bar and the seat and all that. I got from Lowrider Magazine when I was younger. They have a little. They used to have a little section in there. I don't know. I haven't read Lowrider Magazine in a long time, but they used to have a little section there where uh, <coughs> where you can order parts for Lowrider bikes. And that's where I got this. Um, to fit this front end, we had to, uh, had to cut on the frame here and, and kind of narrow down, not narrow it, but uh, shorten right here and, and fit the front end on. And um, it used to be, it wasn't a Schwinn. I put my little, the little lowrider guy on there. Um, it wasn't a Schwinn, it was a Sears and Roebuck, I think, bike. Uh, I added the, the shifter there. And um, it was a cool little bike, but as you can see, the cheap chrome from uh, Lowrider magazine didn't hold up. And uh, I'm probably going to just tear it all apart for little Charlie and uh, repaint the frame. And I'm sure I'll have to get a new front end and everything because I'm not going to pay to get re chromed. It's cheaper just to get a, you know, another front end for it. The Springer front end, or I'll paint it, either one. But. Um, I got a new addition to the uh, garage here. <coughs> 2003 Sentra. This is going to be my. Uh... Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's going to be my uh, winter car. So I can preserve the Ford here from all the salt and the snow and all that. Plus, I seriously doubt that. Um, this will do uh, very well in the snow and the elements with these bias ply tires. So, just to keep myself from wrecking into a tree, I'm gonna get that Sentra going. Those Sentras, uh, I got that for 550 bucks. Uh, those Sentras are well known for having recalls for the uh, the ECU on the. Uh, there's a few different recalls they had on them. Um, that one. It was running at one point. Uh, what happened was a friend of the family, uh, he was driving to work. He went, uh, he parked it, went back out to start it again and wouldn't start. So I towed it back. He sold it to me for 550 bucks. And I've been troubleshooting ever since then. And I'm thinking it's the ECU. Because the way that they package the ECU in there, um, they have some kind of foam around the ECU. And it... Uh, it, when the when the foam, I guess when it was curing, it would uh, the gases would corrode the ECU, something like that is what I read, and I'm I'm thinking that's what's wrong with it. So I've uh, I've hooked up uh, um, the diagnostic, the little tester, 
and uh, it was faulting the ECU. And then it quit doing that, and uh, it's not faulting anything now, but it just won't start. So uh, it ran for a little bit, and now it's not starting. Uh, so I'm guessing that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, so working on that. Um, I've got a deal going with my wife for a new air compressor. Um, I've been looking at 80 gallon. Uh, was it five? Was it five horsepower? Might have been more than that. It was at Home Depot. It was a Husky, which I, I haven't really heard too many good things about Huskies, but I don't know. I've heard. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I've heard mixed mixed things about Husky uh, compressors. Uh, the one they have is, I think it's like 16, 15 CFM at 90, uh, 90 PSI. And uh, it's a single stage, but it's a three cylinder. So, I don't know. I, I might um, look a little bit further into it and maybe look and see if I can uh, get uh, Campbell Hosfeld or Ingersoll Rand or something. But... Um, the uh, the husky that they have um, it was like 800 bucks but uh, anyway the deal is that if I quit smoking then by Christmas I can get a compressor if I can com get get a compressor here then I can start doing you know my work here I won't be as rushed to get stuff done because I won't be going over and back and forth and towing cars back and forth to the other garage this that and the other and I can actually do work in my own house so that'd be nice the only downfall is that uh, this garage is pretty small, so uh, September I think 7th is the date my wife and I set for ourselves to quit smoking. I'm going to try those um, e-cigs, see how that works out, but there it is, you know, we're uh, <coughs> still driving this thing around, still doing good, and my next plans for it is to paint it. Uh, I was thinking about... Uh, somewhere down the line seeing if I can find a conversion kit for uh, H4 bulbs for this and um, I don't know call me crazy but I'm thinking of converting it into an HID uh, well of course I'll have to convert it to 12 volt first but somewhere down the line putting HID headlights in this I think that would be pretty cool you know different but uh, yeah there it is so that's uh, that's what's going on um, Car still uh, still doing good. Hope everybody's doing good out there. I'll talk to you guys later.